do this. Gob. Where are you located? Like I said, find the metal staircase in the big room on the east side of the building. It's where they used to make rockets. Sure. Stop wasting time. Wow. Douche. God damn. Oh, what the fuck is this? Oh shit. Oh god. You there. You're gonna die. <laughs> Bitch. What now? this weapon. Nervous about traps. I'll just take them, whatever. Ooh, a Nuka Cola, nice. What's in the fridge? Meats and stuff. I really don't like traps because I like being able to walk. I don't really care about his robes. That's what you get when you let your heart win. Alright, where is this son of a bitch? What the shit? Okay then. Let's see over here. Hmm. Oh hi. You're dead. I like this weapon. It's very useful against feral ghouls. Like, good god. I need these... F Ooh, what's in here? Bottle caps! Even if it is only three, three bottle caps is still worth picking up. Mostly because they don't weigh anything. At least I'm pretty sure they don't. Hardcore mode might have changed that, but I think it's just ammo that has weight. Ooh! Ooh! I don't know why I'm going through all this stuff. There's probably nothing useful or good in here. Don't care. Where the hell am I trying to go? I'm trying to somehow get up there? What? Normally that would have been scary, but honestly, this thing just rapes, so... Like, I don't mean, like, scary, like, OH MY FUCKING GOD! But, like, startling, you know, but... It wasn't, because this thing rapes them with an iron fist. Of destruction. I, th I think you get the point. I sense multiple... This will be fun. Oh, jeez. Okay, that actually scared me. Bam, motherfucker. Got anything good on you? A pack of cigarettes. And bottle caps. I think I have another one of these things, so I probably can repair this. Yeah, I do. What the hell is this door? 
Is it up here? I always hated these buildings because you have no fucking clue where to go because the maps don't help you at all and neither do the arrows. I tried to avoid them in Fallout 3. Is this it? Oh, intercom. Sweet. Hang on a second. I have a little bit of cold, so I need a uh, cough drop so it doesn't hurt to talk. God, but are you ugly? Get upstairs and talk to Jason before I throw up just from looking at you. Hey, you're not a ghoul. Your pranks won't work on me, Smooth Skin. They won't work on Jason either. Smooth Skin, your skin looks pretty smooth to me. Stop wasting my time, Smooth Skin. Go waste Jason's. What the hell is this guy on? Jesus. So where hell is hell the, is this Jason? Oh God. So it's up here somewhere. Hey there. So it's like a cult. Huh. Where the hell is this guy? Are you Jason? Jason? Get the fuck back here. Hello, Wanderer. Please forgive us our humble surroundings. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. Have you come to help us complete the great journey? I'm here because feral ghouls have been wandering into Novak. And they've been shooting them down like animals, haven't they? Those ghouls were members of my flock, even after the madness consumed their minds. We never let them wander free. We kept them safe on the first floor. We kept them contained. The demons must have let them out. Somehow. And now they are lost forever. Deny the salvation and healing glow of the far beyond. Please, Wanderer, bear in mind that every feral ghoul you spare now is one that we can save later. Once the way is clear, our feral brothers and sisters will accompany us on the great journey. If there are any left. What? Tell me more about these demons. The demons appeared from nowhere. Except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. The demons are invisible. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering, like sunlight on water. They set upon us as we were on our way to worship one morning. We had just entered the basement. My flock fought bravely and killed a few, but at such cost, nearly half of us died or went missing. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us, but they have not tried to attack us since. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. But now you have come. Once again, the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. You say one of the demons raved at you? Yes, over the intercom. Threats of death should be stepped outside. Guarantees of safety should be stay locked away. It went on for hours and did not always make sense. But that was the first day only. Since then, silence. Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? I will take care of the demons for you. Praise the Creator. Bless you, Wanderer. Bless us all. As soon as the underground has been rid of demons, preparations for the great journey can resume. I have to kill some sons of bitches in a basement? S Nightkin? Oh god. Son of a whore. Welcome back to the program. This is Mr. New Vegas, and I hope I'm not coming on too strong. Here are our top stories. position in Nelson, where it remains a constant concern for Camp Forlorn Hope and the nearby town of Novak. One more story for you. The Helios-1 solar power plant remains dormant despite NCR's effort to reactivate the facility. The chief scientist of 
He's kind of weird, if you ask me. Just saying. Actually, let's bring out the shotgun. Good old shoddy. Some nightkin sons of bitches. What? Oh my god, holy damn. Thank god for bats. sound strange. I am in command of my faculties, in command of my troops. Antler guides me in all things, as I in turn guide my kid. Um, who is Antler? Who is Antler? Who is Antler? Antler, a human asks about you. What do I tell it? All right. All right. Yes, yes, of course. Who Antler is not important to you. Antler wants that you deal with me. Mm, maybe I can help. Good. Antler brought us here for a reason. Why was that, Antler? Right. A, a piece of paper. Shipment invoice. Hundreds of stealth boys sent here a, a long time ago. But stealth boys must be in the one room. One we don't search yet. The one we can't search. Why can't you search the last room? A ghoul, but not squishy like others. This ghoul is tough. I thought Antler said, send my kin into that room, but three die. Ghoul is a crock shot and set traps too. After I realized, I heard Antler wrong. So I locked the door to keep kin out and wait for Antler to tell me what to do. Then you come along. Antler says you are solution. I'll find the stealth boy stockpile if, for you if you're keen to leave this place. Yes, Antler says we leave here as soon as we get stealth boys. Let me give you key. Antler had me lock the door. The ghoul inside, not expecting a human. Maybe he don't shoot you. Maybe he will. <laughs> um, okay. I guess we'll find out in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>